This proves the narcissist hates you. Yes, the narcissist does hate you. They can't stand you. And that is why they always put you down. That is why they insult you. And sometimes they will even do it in public. They will do it in front of other people to maximize the effect because it makes them feel better about themselves. It makes them feel superior to you. Narcissists are very insecure. They hate themselves. They have no inner sense of value. So they're always trying to find ways to fill this inner void. They always feel empty. They're always in survival mode. And you may be trying to fill this void for them. You may be trying to make them feel better. But it doesn't do anything for them. Because their way of feeling better is by putting you down and establishing a false sense of superiority over you. Which is why they're always putting you down. They're using your weaknesses against you. And this is clear proof that the narcissist hates you. Because someone who loves you would never use your weaknesses against you. When you're in a relationship with someone, you're supposed to reveal your weaknesses to them. You're supposed to love them. You're supposed to trust them. You're supposed to feel safe with them. But when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they will use that against you. They will betray you. They will mock you. They will reveal your secrets and personal information to other people. Which is proof that they hate you. Because they're only looking for things that they don't like. Things that they can blow out of proportion. And make it seem like it's so much more than what it actually is. But when you do something good, they don't acknowledge it. They refuse to take notice of your accomplishments. Because when something good happens for you, it's killing them inside. They can't be happy for you. They can't stand it. Because they're jealous of you. So they don't want to see you doing well. Because they see you as their rival. They see you as their opponent. They see you as their competition. They're constantly comparing themselves to you. So when you're doing well, they feel small in comparison. When you need something from the narcissist, they will ignore it. They will act like they don't see it. They will act like they don't know what's wrong. Because your needs are not important to the narcissist, they don't care about you. They don't have your best interests in mind, so they will deliberately withhold whatever they think it is that you need. They will keep it out of reach. 
they will make it impossible for you to attain it. It's like a game of cat and mouse. It's a form of torture. And they get a kick out of it. They find amusement in doing that. But someone who loves you would never do that to you. The narcissist does this because they hate you. And they love to see you squirm. They love to watch you experiencing discomfort and distress. And they may even shame you. They will make you feel like you're doing something wrong. They will make you feel like you're not deserving. They can't let you feel like you're doing something well. But they will always tell you when you've made a fault or mistake. They will tell you you're not a good driver. They will tell you you don't make enough money. They will constantly put you down. And you will feel like you're walking on eggshells. You will be extremely cautious about your words and actions. You will be very careful not to offend or upset the narcissist. Because they get angry and offended very easily. You will always feel like you're doing something wrong. Which is proof that the narcissist hates you. But sometimes the narcissist just won't even talk to you. They will go silent. They will refuse to talk to you because they're trying to punish you. And it's proof that they hate you. It's proof that they can't stand you. They're doing it to manipulate and control you. To make you go crazy. Because they hate you. They hate everyone. Because they hate themselves. How we treat other people is a direct reflection of how we feel about ourselves. So don't look at it from your own personal standpoint. See it objectively rather than subjectively. See it in a way that is not influenced by your personal feelings or opinions. Because it really has nothing to do with you as a person. It has nothing to do with something you've done or haven't done. It's not that you're not good enough. It's not that you need to change something about yourself. They hate you because they hate themselves. And they hate themselves more than they hate you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description.
coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at marksurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.